Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, I wanted to start this video with thanking Ray from RPEG Electronics. Recently, I had a problem with my shooter cabinet where I booted it up and all of a sudden the machine's acting like somebody's holding the down arrow at all times. Menus are scrolling through, uh, inputs are being overwritten, and I couldn't figure out what it was until I tracked down that Joydeki was showing that Joystick 3 was sending a down command. And Joystick 3 happens to be my Player 2 gun. So uh, once I isolated to that, I asked Ray, you know, if he knew what might be causing it. And uh, he thought it might be a short in the Arduino. So he asked me to send both of my guns back to him. And he actually did a full tech refresh on both guns. Uh, he replaced the Arduinos. He cleaned up all the wiring. And he made a couple of improvements. So that now the forward selector button on these Jolt guns actually enables and disables recoil. So I've got switches on the front of my cabinet that will cut the power to the recoil, but this is a more convenient option, especially for anyone else who might want to be doing this and don't have that cutoff switch. But uh, in addition to that, he also put on wide angle lenses onto both my guns, allowing them to see the IR uh, LED sensors at a much closer distance. So I no longer have to stand all the way back to lo you know, otherwise lose tracking. I can actually be wherever I want in relation to the cabinet and these, uh, these wide angle lenses, they're, they're, they're on there solid. So I wanted to thank Ray for that. Uh, he isn't selling any more pre-modded Jolt guns, but he is an expert at getting a gun for IR in them. So if you've got a pair of Jolt guns um, and you have uh, want somebody to mod them, he is offering the mod service. And if you've modded them yourselves and you guys are having any problem like I did, you know, send him a message and uh, he'll help you out. If you want to send him up to him or ask for some support, over email, I'm sure I'll hook you up and I'll put his contact information in the video description below. But this video is actually about a little uh, improvement to the gun for IR that I wanted to make on the software side. There was an issue that I was having just because my front end, I wanted it as user friendly as possible. You just, you know, click and go, right? However, a number of my games, usually the older main games, I play in the original square four by three aspect ratio. Now, uh, if you look at a gun for IR that is in full screen mode for the 169, and you play a square game, what's going to happen is that that crosshair isn't going to line up with your gun. Now you can see here, I've left the crosshair on, just to show you this as an example, I've left the crosshair visible on screen, but the crosshair won't line up with the gun when the aspect ratio changes. What you have to do is you have to go into the gun for IR GUI, change the aspect ratio from full screen to content aspect ratio, and then upload that setting to your gun. Then you can play the 4-3 games and they'll line up just fine. But you need to change it back to full screen in the GUI if you want to go back to your full screen 16x9 games. I was hoping that we would actually have a way to send the command to change that aspect ratio to the gun over software, something that I could script in with my 4-3 games. And so I reached out to JB, the inventor of Gun for IR, and he said that you can do that with serial commands. Um, I wasn't aware of any of the serial commands, so I went ahead and looked in the manual, and all the way down, there are those serial commands. Uh, you can do all kinds of things that you can send to the gun, but the, uh, the big one that I was looking for was the full screen versus 4x3 aspect ratio screen. So if you look here, you can see the serial command is M for mode, then the mode number, which is 3 for the game aspect ratio, followed by the mode option, which is 1 for 4.3, or 0 to go back to full screen. Now the next trick is to figure out what COM ports your guns are using. So just go into Device Manager and open up Ports, and there's your serial device ports, COM 3 and 4. If you want to know which is which, just right-click, go to Properties, then go to Details, and tell it to show you the hardware ID. Then just compare that hardware ID in somewhere else you've got listed, like for example, your Demol Shooter GUI, where your Player One Gun for IR ID is listed there. That ID matches what we've got in our uh, COM port, and we know that COM port 3 is Gun 1, and COM port 4 is Gun 2. Now if you wanted to send these serial commands, you can just open a DOS window, echo out the serial command, and arrow that out to the COM port in question. So if I go ahead and send M3.1 to COM port 3, my gun player one gun is now in a 4-3 aspect ratio and you can see the arrow is warped because I'm on the full screen desktop using the 4-3 aspect ratio mode. Now if you go back into DOS and send M3.0, you can see that the gun is now back to full screen and the arrow is tracking 16-9 as it should. 
Now, after a little trial and error, I was eventually able to figure out how to translate these DOS commands into my AHK. So you see here, I'm doing run, then com spec slash C, and then I'm doing my echo command out to my COM port. So this AHK is sending the 4-3 aspect ratio command to gun one, then to gun two, and then there's a hotkey that when you hit escape, it sets them both back to full screen. Now I'm going to want this AHK file to run whenever a 4-3 aspect ratio game is launched. So I figured the best way to do that is to turn this into an EXE and add it as an additional app in LaunchBox. So right here we're just going to take the AHK that we saved, we're going to right click on it, and compile script. And AutoHotKey is going to go ahead and generate an EXE from that. Now back in LaunchBox, go ahead and right click on your game, click edit, then go to additional apps, add application, Go ahead and name it anything. Then for the application path, browse to that EXE that we just created. And then be sure to put a check mark in automatically run before main application. Then hit OK and OK. So now when you launch that game, LaunchBox is going to automatically run this script, which is going to set the gun for IR to the correct 4 by 3 aspect ratio. And when you hit escape to quit, it's going to go ahead and set that aspect ratio back to the regular full screen for all of your regular games. So you can go ahead and apply this to whatever games you want. Uh, you can keep that original aspect ratio intact and not have to worry about your uh, gun being misaligned. Okay, so I hope you guys have found this video helpful. Um, if you guys want to go around and play with some of those other serial commands for your gun for IR builds, uh, you can use these same processes uh, through the DOS commands or the com spec in your AHKs. And you can uh, enable or disable different modes, turn on different functions, um, but just play around with it and try it out. Um, and if... Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Put a comment in the video description below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, and I'll catch you next time.